but hello guys it is the evening time and basically yesterday i posted this makeup and i've been wearing this really, really similar makeup to this it's basically like super natural 10 minute makeup um obviously i'm just going to talk to you it's going to take longer than 10 minutes because i'm in gemini and i just can't shut the f up but um <laughs> normally if i do it like actually it takes me 10 minutes to do and i'll show you the look i'll take a i think i i downloaded it so i do have a photo basically it's this look um it looks it's very very glowy it's really pretty it's really natural like i'm not i'm literally wearing like one eyeshadow just like a net nude color smoked out it's like the most simple makeup but when you wear it it just looks i don't know how to explain it this is probably like a really stupid thing to say or someone would think it's offensive but you just like look pretty like it's just so glowy and fresh you just look like you see someone if i see someone with this like type of makeup like that nudie glossy i'm just like oh they look so pretty so that's that makeup right here also it's kind of inspired also by the other day I wore like almost no makeup. I literally had like no time to get ready. I'm not even wearing like anything on my eyes at all. Um, like no eyeshadow, nothing. Like literally, like this was like the quickest makeup I've ever done. It's, so it's a combination of these two looks that I've done. And I'm just gonna show you, it's basically my go-to fall makeup. I don't know, I feel like I get it. Like it gets, to, it's kind of funny for fall. Everyone likes to go dark and gets vampy and dark and intense. Meanwhile, I just got my hair done blonder. You can let me know what you think. I just got, um, I'm just like, like more highs, but I just to brighten it up. I don't know, I kind of just like wanted a change. I know like ha hair is like something that people really easily go to to change because it really makes you feel. It's really crazy the psychology. It talk about this, it talks about this in this book called Psy Psycho Cybernetics. But the psychology of how you view yourself literally changes you. Like they do experiments on people, for example, who get like plastic surgery. Let's say they were like, this is an example and don't again take it the grain of salt, but someone let's say they were a little bit, they were not at their ideal weight and they got like liposuction or something. Literally the way they started acting after uh, embodied more confidence, etc. In turn, like, so they became more outgoing, more social, and in turn, like their career, personal relationships, friendships, everything blossomed. And when you really look, do look at the psychology of what that stems from, it's this view of self. So that's why a lot of times people are going through something, they do drastic changes, like color their hair, or do X, Y, and Z, or like the people talk about the joke of like men in a midlife crisis buying a car. Because when you change something big in your outside world, the girls are playing, me and Coco are like running around, uh, you redefine your identity, and when you redefine your identity, it allows your brain to function differently it literally creates a new neural pathway so when you begin to view yourself as different like in a different way like let's say you thought you're whatever adjective then you change your hair you change whatever you thought, think you're now you're more edgy you think you're you look better you in, in turn literally will subconsciously put yourself out there more be more talk be more social uh also and energetically i'm in a different energy and different presence which, which in turn manifests really positively oftentimes in greater success and things in life um and I mean, success isn't like, just like flourishing, right? Like that's like what I, what I like to use. And so yeah, I don't know, I just wanted like a change. I got my hair, like I just, I'm really feeling the fall change, the seasons change. I talk about some of my podcasts. Like I just really feel like the energy is shifting and we're finally like embodying the lessons we learned. I feel like I learned a lot of lessons. One that I really talked about was the one with you guys in like a few videos ago about the not projecting onto others, like the narratives and just really accepting, accepting things, like just to really, accept things as they are instead of applying this whole story to them right and so yeah i did my got my hair dyed a little bit blonder so i'm just feeling a little bit more like fresh a little bit more bright a little bit like more airy like a little bit more lively um and i was doing my makeup differently the only way i do like kind of like a dark eye um, or pretty smoke like kind of like neutral smoky eye more of a darker lip and i'm just like lightening it up it's really weird like i'm doing like the reverse of what the fall is asking me to do maybe i'm like rebelling against fall but we're gonna rebel against fall together i'm still drinking coffee it's kind of in the evening but i didn't finish this coffee while i was working um so we're gonna do that also i just got this in the mail um urban decay launched these on the run palettes i think they launched these last year too but there it was one palette and it was different but these are really really cool so this is in the color g train this is the highway queen um the colors on both are really setting usually i kind of have a favorite and honestly i still want to go probably towards this one because you guys know me i love like warm colors like this like this is me in a palette like, honestly if i was to create a palette with a brand it would be very it would really embody like a lot of these like orangey neutrals like uh like the just highway queen itself this color is like one of my favorite eyeshadow colors it's almost like a what would be like a nudie blush color and this one has like really pretty nice like coppery shades also some nice nude shades and some like goldish shades so we're gonna try to work with these as well I'm starting off with the laura mercier hydrating primer i'm just rubbing that into my skin as you guys know like this is one of my um Holy Grail products. It's the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Stick. Which one's my new one? This one, which one feels heavier? Dang. 
this one. Libra season be like, okay, um, oh crap, I was right. It's like a, it's a concealer, but I just use I don't only use an actual foundation. I just spot conceal. So like I have some breakouts right here. I honestly had to like. I'm also my new resolution is to cut down on sugar. I know everyone says that, but honestly, I'm a sugar maniac. I'm a maniac when it comes to sugar. I just love so much. I love like a warm sponge cake. I love brownie. I love cookie. I love fudge sickle, like popsicle, or like fruit sickle. I don't know anything with sugar in it. It's sixty percent chance I'll eat it. So. Um, yeah, that's my new thing. And I have no method to how I do this concealer thing. It's basically, I basically put on like foundation. And I'm gonna buff it in with this blush. It is the It Cosmetics Love is the foundation brush. It's so cute, it's in the shape of a heart. It's like a, it's a fun, like, it's like a, a brush. These types of brushes like, work really well for cream product. So I love this one. I think it's a really cute gift idea too. I know the holidays are coming up, which is wild. Uh, I put my hair back like this and I actually just curl it really quick because my camera died. So, next I'm gonna do, so this is like just a weird angle, huh? Next I'm gonna do powder. The powder I've been using lately is this Charlotte Tilbury one. Honestly, like, I'm in, there's like light, medium, dark, and like light is just too, I feel like a little bit too wide on me, and I'm not gonna lie, too is a little bit, like this medium color is a little bit too orange on me. But I just like don't want to be wasteful and throw it away. Does anyone else get like that? It's like I'm just gonna use her up. A few of you commented that I look kind of orange, and I was like, "Well, orange is the color of the solar plexus. Orange is the color of creativity. Orange is the color of Cheetos. You know, I can't hate on it. I cannot hate on it." So um, that's that. Also, a lot of people wanted me to talk about my college experience now that I've graduated, right? Like, me is playing with Coco's empty um, wet food can. But I, I promised that once I graduated and everything, I mean, I graduated earlier this year, of course, that I would talk about it. I haven't really talked about it, and it's because, I'll, I mean, I guess I'll explain why. It just, I don't know, to me, I'm, I'm so, I think that education is so important. I think that, like, even the process of going to university, if you are fortunate enough to do so, is so wonderful because it not only it teaches you how to think, right? Like, even if you're like, I'm not gonna use this exact knowledge, this exact fact later, you know, it gives you the foundation of self discipline of how to, you know, create your schedule, how to get projects in on time, how to collaborate with others. For me, I had a lot of public speaking, which I feel when I entered, um, university or college four years ago, I had no, I was so uncomfortable public speaking, like I don't think I could ever go up in front of a huge audience by myself and speak, and now to me, it's, I'm completely comfortable with that, like I could definitely do a whole entire presentation. I'm sure I'd still have butterflies, but I feel um, very comfortable doing so. I'm gonna do eyebrows really quick. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Brow Down, and this is in the color Taupe Trap, so I'm just gonna, the eyebrows are just kind of, I'm gonna do them really quick. It just takes me a bit to do it, so. I love this song. I'm gonna enter a screenshot here because I can't play it too much, but I I love this song. Moving along. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna do Chanel Cream Bronzer. This is the OG. Um, and I'm gonna use, um, I'm using Morphe brushes actually. This is the um, M501. But I'm gonna keep talking as I do this because um, You'll see the message in my madness of how I do this. I mean, I just a con place contour, right? The, the girls are running around. Um, but yeah, so I didn't, I didn't really talk about, even when I was in school, I didn't talk about school too much because for me, like, like I said, I value education so much. It teaches you, it, I mean, first of all, like for most people, it creates like the network of people that, that's gonna be in their life for a long time. A lot of people I know have been friends who are a bit older, been friends with their uh, college friends for like, you know, eight to 10 years and, go, and moving forward. So it creates like, I feel like you learn so much about yourself in the process of, you know, making friends while at the same time figuring out what like drives you while at the same time like um, learning literally new things, even about things that you may not care about because you have to take like rent, like you take like core classes or different classes. I have to take, you won't even believe some of the classes I have to take. You'd be like, I have to take like the history of Southeast Asia. Like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like but learning just about completely things that you would never normally research it's so it honestly is so valuable but for me my focus especially ever since kind of um I, I started you know doing everything kind of working online and stuff 
it was like for me that's where my energy was going of course i was still you know i still value school and it's you know, it, it was i'm so grateful i got to do it but for me i never wanted that i've heard people i've heard people say this before and it's really true if you resonate because i never wanted the college experience i never wanted to live on campus i never wanted to like go to frat parties i think i went to like maybe a few like my freshman year like i never wanted to like you know be in a sorority, like I none of that ever resonated with me. Like I just never wanted to do it. I had no desire to at all, and I have no judgment towards anyone does that. Like I think it's so like it's, like you know what I mean. Everyone has their own preferences, and it's just not really fair to put like throw a bunch of eighteen year olds on a campus and be like everyone conform and do the same thing. Like we're not sheep. Like you can't just throw everyone into a herd and expect everyone to wanna you know live the, like the same structure of life like you know what I mean everyone has different personality we all have different uh ways of thinking we're different beings we have different backgrounds like we are so we're so vastly similar obviously we're all you know uh in the same sense so our consciousness to a certain degree it's a whole other kind of more messy topic to talk about but um but so we have so many we have everyone has their own way of living their life like how someone lives their week and that makes them feel fulfilled maybe like the literal polar opposite of what makes me fulfilled in my week and so i just never wanted to do that and so also for me like so my focus was never really on college i kind of some girls who are online who are so it's so great like their college loggers basically and they like share their experience in school and with friends and like the whole thing and i think that's so beautiful and, I think that, and other girls who are maybe then also in college um, should I work on people um, because then you kind of like feel like you're like doing college with a friend for with pe for when you watch people who vlog online while you're also in college. I'm touching up my brows. I kind of, you know, like right there. I want it a little more sharp. Um, and so that's why I didn't really talk about it as much or as I guess as people maybe expected I would. But um, I had a great time. I went to LMU um, and. I majored in communication studies and it was wonderful. I I loved, I, I, the school is, I mean, I, I couldn't say enough good things. The school is looking beautiful. Like it, the campus, it literally looks like you're on a vacation at a resort. Um, people are very friendly, like super mellow. Um, I liked most of my professors. I would say like like 95%, honestly. There were like two that I really didn't like out of my whole thing that stood out to me. Um, which I'm not gonna say anymore, but there were so many who I love. Like, I love, I took, what was that class? Uh, there, yeah, there's three I didn't like actually, total, I would say, or around that. But everyone else I really liked. I loved my advisor. Her name is Judy. She's incredible. Uh, they were going there. And yeah, and like, I just, I mean, I balanced obviously college and everything else I was doing in terms of online work, in terms of, you know, PBA and all the other stuff that I was doing. And it was great, and I'm really happy I did it. Um, I. Just for me, that was like something that I, I always knew I was gonna do. Like I knew I'd go to college. Like you know what I mean? Unless I like created Facebook or something my freshman year, um, you know, I was gonna do it. Also, I'm gonna bring that down the blushes because I feel like my little peachy. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Like for me, I just like a, a light background in high school. I was like psychotic in terms of grades. Like I took so many AP classes. I got like straight A's, like literally straight A's. I took it so, so, so seriously. Um, yeah, I don't know what, what else to, to say. Like when I got into a lot of the schools I wanted and um, I don't know, yeah, I don't, I don't know I don't know what else like, to, to, to say about college. Like, I worked really hard in terms of prep. For me, it was just like, I knew I was gonna do it. I knew I was gonna learn. Um, I liked my courses. I did well in school. I I'm, I'm, did a lot of writing, a lot of public speaking. Uh, I was really, really actually ahead in math, so I didn't really have to take any math. I did, I still kind of went above and beyond and took a, a, a course my freshman year, but I was like over the math that I had, had to do uh, when I already started. Um, what else? Like, yeah, it was a really good experience. I never lived on campus. I drove to my courses. Um, I literally like, manifested my, the schedules that worked for me every semester. It's kind of weird around how it always, like, divine timing, which I'll talk about. This is a really good segue. Divine timing, like, every time I schedule my classes, sometimes I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes I do Tuesday, Thursday. They tell you that it's really hard to get them like that, but if you, I don't know, I, like, would meditate before, like, I was dating my classes and I visualized myself and, like, I was that girl to get the, the schedules I wanted. And, yeah, that way it allowed me to have days where I really focus on school and then days where I do my other work. Um, and especially when I was traveling a lot my freshman year for when I was doing, going to, like, conventions and stuff, um, I had Tuesday, Thursday schedule, so I could have a four-day weekend. So when I would travel, uh, it would be easier to accommodate. And, yeah, I had a lovely experience. Um, 
and I just I think it was like really divinely timed. Uh, the people I met there, the like the energy that was there. The, I loved my experience. Like, like I rate my college experience. I rate it 11 out of 10. Like I loved it. It was it it was like it was every. I couldn't have asked I think for a better college experience. Like literally the courses, the things we talked about, the campus, the style, the people I met there. It was just very cool and. Yeah, and another and like I said, the, the course thing. I'll talk about divine timing in a second. Um, really taught me like it was crazy how my schedule would work out perfectly for whatever phase of my life I was going on at that point. So let's do a recap on the run. Like I said, I usually so I'm just gonna do something really really light because this is a really light eye. So I'm gonna use Highway Queen. It's really funny because I was using Urban Decay Naked before in that that one photo you guys really liked. I was using these two colors, Sweet and Swarm. So you take a look at that shade, so you can kind of get a these two and. And these two shades in this on the run palette are really similar, right? Like if you see the colors of these like up here, right? Those are so similar. So I'm gonna do Highway Queen on my eye. It's like a fluffy brush. Really like, it's literally like a nude color. It's just like literally, I mean, just like skin tone almost for me. Um, and I'm going to press it heavier in the outer corner. It almost gives the effect that there's like a darker color there, but there's not. I'm just pressing a little bit harder in the outer corner. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Like I like eye makeup for me to be like really pretty, like enhance my eye color and stuff, but not be like diff, not like t tons of brushes, tons of colors, a whole shebang, you know. Unless I'm feeling like that, you know. Every 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 season of life has its thing. And then I'm gonna use up the white color, like literally this color right there called Coast. What I do is I always put it on my finger, and I literally like melt it into under right under my brow bone. To give me like a little lift. Learned, it was definitely like just in life with that schedule thing and just in general like to really trust if I am timing and I think it's really sometimes hard for me because as a Mars in Virgo, okay what I do next actually is I need to use a specific color because it does this thing to my eyes, I can't explain it. So in there, like just literally I meant to rebuy this whole palette for this color alone. It's a soft glam palette in the color Sienna. If anyone knows a color that's similar to this that I can buy like a single one of, let me know. So what I do is I literally just take it so lightly, like on a brush like this, like of this kind of brush. I take that sienna color and so light, I just literally like dab it onto my like lid, like literally. Okay, like randomly placing it, like not like just like a child, a toddler that's with a paintbrush. And then I just like blend it out really intensely, and it just all it does is it leaves like this hue of this color. And I don't know what it does, but if you have like blue or maybe even, I don't know, like lighter colored eyes, I just, I, it does something where like, it makes your eyes just like pop. It like literally makes them pop. Oh my God, I have a fun, you know what I could do? I'm actually, so basically, there's this guy who I dated in high school. We were actually dated for like, maybe like a long time, like a year or something. Um, and we literally recently like reconnected, like literally just as pals. He's also very into like yoga, spirituality, mindfulness, sadguru, different kriyas and things that I'm really into. I don't, I'm gonna open up more about like that, those other things that I do. And I'm wondering what if I FaceTime him and like ask a few questions. That'd be so fun. Hello. Hello? What's up? I'm filming a video, like, get ready with me right now, and I was like, how funny if I FaceTime you for the video. <laughs> but that's the actual video. Well, no, I'm, I'm, doing a, I'm doing a makeup thing. Do you wanna, what, what are like, what are fun questions? We should do a video where I ask them to make assumptions about me and then you answer them. Repeat that? <laughs> no, we should do a video, my next video, where like, I'll ask, my people who watch me and make assumptions about me. I'm in the middle of doing makeup, so I like I look kind of crazy. And then you'll answer them, and then we'll make a video like, <laughs> like you answering. Wouldn't that be so funny? Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep filming, but. We're gonna do an assumptions about me. We're basically my high school ex boyfriend. We did it when I was 15 years old. I'm now 22. So this is seven years ago, and we literally have barely spoken since I think we've maybe talked like once two years ago about like some spirituality topic. I went to like a spirituality seminar, I posted about it. Um, so if you want to ask any assumptions in the comments down below, I don't think I'm gonna do I don't think I'm going to do it off of Instagram. 
I think I'm only gonna do it off of here. It can be any assumptions about, you wanna ask about stuff back in the day. He, all he knows is me as a teeny bopper, me as 15 when I like mint green. Like we have never, we haven't seen each other since I was a teeny bopper. Um, or maybe like briefly, since high school at all. And I think it'll be interesting. Like feel free to ask any questions about assumptions about like I said back then, about me now, and we'll see how he answers that. Obviously he knows me only from when he dated me as a 15 year old, so it'll be really cool to see him answer assumptions and then you'll make an assumption, he'll answer it and then I'll say if it's accurate or not. And and, and depending on how juicy they are, maybe I'll just say yes or no and won't give you the full tea. We'll see, I wanna make them juicy, so ask any questions you want. Be crazy, let's get wild, let's get juicy, let's do it. You can leave them down below. I'm done with my makeup. I Like I said, I just added the Clay de Po Warm Crystal Gloss. I think it's been gloss. I used to do liner and lipstick and I like it, but this gloss is like the perfect color. It literally, it, the color isn't even like, it's like literally one shade different than my lips, a little bit more nudie. And honestly, just looks like you're wearing a really nice lip balm. Like, especially when it starts to wear off, it just the way it looks, is it just looks like you're wearing a really like oily lip balm. And it doesn't look like a color. It doesn't look like it's like I'm, I have nude lipstick on. It doesn't look, doesn't look like I have like pink lipstick on. I feel like it just looks like really plump, juicy gloss. And I really like that. I'll brush my lashes. My lash girl would be proud of me. She's like, you need to brush your lashes. I don't know, I just get like, you know, I use a bot the back of a the, the brow spoolie. Mm. And I'm gonna wear a new dress that I got. So let's go change the dress and I will show you my- Excuse the super messy bedroom. My bed is not made. I have lots of clothes to put away. Mia loves jumping up on this couch actually. It's become really cute. You guys don't know, I was originally supposed to put this outside. I could put it outside, but it would just be really crammed on the patio. I decided to leave it in here. And this Bubba will jump up there and hang out there. Maybe she'll do it right now. Might as well do it right now. Look, maybe she'll do it live. Maybe will you do it live? Will you, will you jump up there? This is the dress I'm wearing tonight. I love it. It is like the perfect, the reason I wanted to show it to you is because it's perfect for like literally any occasion. I'm gonna put, um, Airbrush spray tan on my legs by Zoe Hansen in a second, but I'll show you from afar like the, the style I kind of pinned up a little higher It'll go like it would actually be longer on you. So like if you're a normal height like I'm just short right so I don't I want it like a little bit more mini it kind of hits like two inches above the knee like we're in high school <laughs> But if you're taller this will be like really cute and mini but you can really easily scrunch it up Like I put a belt on it and then the belt's actually this is Tilla Rosa It's like one of my favorite brands at Revolve their stuff is like really it's like very hip and cool it's like very classy but fun like you know what i mean like this top this is like it's still sheer and it has like the sparkles but you know what i mean it's by no means like trashy or tacky or anything like that it's super like i don't know this dress is just super perfect i find like if you you could probably wear it to work if you wore you know like in the fall some boots be really really cute you could throw a blazer over it um in a corporate setting it might be a little much because of shimmer but you could definitely really easily wear it to like a holiday party i know we're gonna have like thanksgiving and then all that stuff coming up so i figured i'd show you this dress like this is literally what it looks like i unbutton these but these can be buttons so if you're with your you know boyfriend's family your husband's family a little button a little after the dinner a little um but it's really really cute and then it's like sheer at the top and then it has like the black it's all their stuff is just really good detail so like it's like sheer here sparkly here and then, and then it goes into like some embroidery there it has ruffles it's very just like feminine and pretty i don't know I'm like, I, you know when you, like, you just like love an item and I don't know, I don't know why I'm like justifying this item, like it just is perfect, it's like literally the perfect dress to wear, holiday party, to work, to like meet your boyfriend's parents, to like, you know what I mean, to go out to a nice dinner too, like it's also just so versatile, like I have, it's like, I feel like it's like a fun little black dress, if you have like an event, a cocktail party, a networking thing, and you just like don't know what to wear, this is like perfect because it shows like, it's still like, it's a good length. Again, you can make it a little bit longer. It's not like scandalous. It's a really nice length. It's really, I mean, it's just black. It's flattering on everybody. It has gold, which I find flattering on every skin tone. It has ruffles, so it's very like feminine. You can belt it if you want it to give it your waist a little more definition. It's flowy, so if you're gonna like eat, um, you're not gonna feel like tight. You know, if you wear like a tight dress going out and then you eat like your whole, like while you're not looking, your figure kind of like, <laughs> like if I wear a super tight dress, tight dress and I eat, I just feel kind of like, I don't know, I feel like you can eat in this and still not have to worry about like looking unflattering, like in the the belts. And, okay, I don't know why I'm getting so passionate about it. I just love this dress, okay? And then the belt stitches you in, so it gives you that like hourglass vibe. So pretty. 
I love it. Of course, I will link it down below. Um, my hair, I do, I've been doing my hair pinned back like this with my bangs out. It's been like my look. I'm gonna go put orange spray on my legs to fit into the society. I love you guys so much. That was a joke, by the way. Gemini style, uh, Mercury and Taurus style.